expecting God to deliver souls. I'm expecting God to bring prosperity. I expect God to do everything that I need him to do because he is a great big God. And if he, just, and if he couldn't do it, he never would have sent Jesus down to suffer and to die for my sins. So I know that he can do it. So I began to expect from the Lord. Look forward to it. And I mean, look forward to it. When you get up tomorrow morning, see if I'm going to speak it right now. And I'm not saying it's going to happen tomorrow morning. But every morning, if you believe in God, yes. and when God puts out that call, yes. He's going to go beyond what, he, what we think, what we expect, and what we ask Him to do. He's going to go beyond that. But when you wake up tomorrow morning, I want you to shake yourself. Anybody, anybody know somebody in the Bible that shook themselves? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. And all of a sudden, it wasn't there anymore. Y'all know Samson, he'd shake himself and he gets up that strength. And all of a sudden one day he shook himself and he wasn't there anymore. But he went back to God one day. He went back to the He basically said, Lord, forgive me. But this one time, he just give it, give it back to me. And he shook himself again. And when he shook himself, that's when he felt something. He felt the power of God. Oh, 
Lord bless his name. That's what we're talking about expectation. I begin to make plans. And I know it's going to happen. And when I believe in God and trust in God, there are certain things. And I'm closing that sure. With the church a while back, the God spoke to me. It said you've been thinking too small. To the extent that where I'm sitting there contemplating, I ain't told my wife this year, so she's learning about it. <laughs> I'm contemplating borrowing ten thousand dollars just to invest in a company. <laughs> All right. All right. I, I, listen, ten years ago, I never thought about taking borrowing ten thousand dollars to invest in a company. But you know what? I have expectations now. I have great expectations. And I believe that God can meet them and then exceed them. So God bless your saints. How many are going to live in expectation? How many are going to live in expectation? Whatever you have in God, expect it to happen. I said, don't go hope that it's going to happen. Expect. Expect. There you go. Somebody caught on. Expect it to happen. God, you're here. Father, we thank you. Thank you now for the word that you have sent, God. We have dishonored you because we haven't lived with the expectations, God. We've been hoping and, and it just, it just, God, we just haven't lived with the full assurance that you are God and you can do all things. But today, God, we say we want that to end. We want it to stop today because we want to expect, God, because you are a great big God. You are an awesome God, an omnipotent God, and an omnipresent God. And we're going to live today, God, because we know you can do all things. Lord, we're not going to live beneath our privileges. We're not going to go around with, with not being assured, God, and, and, and wavering. But we're going to have a mind today to know that you are our God. And that you love us and you care about us. And we can expect certain things from you. And we expect today, God. And not in an arrogant way, not in a proud way. But we just know that you are God. And you are our God and we are your children. And there are certain things, God, that we do for our children. Today, God, heal your children. Deliver your children children. Make them whole today, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we're praying today those who are struggling financially, those who are struggling in other areas of their life. But God, we expect today because of who you are, because of what you can do, we expect you today, God, to move on their behalf, to open doors and to make ways, to give wisdom, understanding, and knowledge, God, that we've never had before. Oh, God, we expect today because of who you are. And Lord, have your way the more. Have your way the more, God. Oh, in the name of Jesus, we thank you today, God, for everything you've done with the church, for the church. We thank you for meeting our every financial obligation. We thank you today, God, for yet, God, we're saying we're living beneath our privileges. We're in expectation, God, of the mortgage being paid off. We're in expectation, God, of creating new ministries. We're in expectation today, God, because you are our God. My Lord. We're even expecting more of ourselves on today. Because you are our God. I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. And because of that, I have greater expectations of myself. And Father, today, bless you people. I want your people. Grow them. Give us things and let us from here to for God that we've never seen before. Let us see them take place. Let the dead rise back to life. Let the sick be healed. Let demons be cast out. And let the poor God, the gospel, preach to them. As your word has said, and we expect it. And in your son Jesus' name we pray. And everyone said amen. amen.